Remember Abraham and Sarah. Oh, God promised Abraham, you're going to have a child. I will bless you with a child. And they said, Amen and Amen. But you see, when God speaks, <laughs> he calls those things that be not as though they are. They waited and waited. And then when it looked like God was taking too much time, what can we do to help God? Now, this is going to help show somebody. When God gives you a promise, let him fulfill the promise by himself. Many have wrecked their future by trying to help God. Sarah came up with a help God plan. Okay, since God has already promised us a son, and it's all right for Abraham to have sex with Hagar, and then they can have, we can have a son. A son is a son, as long as it's from us. That wasn't God's plan. They were trying to help him, and they gave birth to Ishmael. Many of us have given birth to all kinds of Ishmaelis in our life. You can start dating somebody Ishmaeli. <laughs> you can have an Ishmael husband or wife. You helped God. You know you helped him. The process was supposed to take a different turn, but you helped God. Sometimes you can start a business in an Ishmael way. You can take a step like, and, and give. And when you give birth to an Ishmael, ladies and gentlemen, it's trouble. There will be temporary satisfaction, long-term problems. God's plan is for Isaac. So how do you learn from that? Anytime God gives you a promise, look at the good land. There are many things that God has said to me about the good land. And there are moments that you want to help God. God will want you, relax. Let me do what I want to do. It's like when um, a particular species of bird, I think it's the eagle, wants to hatch. The, when, the, when the egg wants to hatch, it is said that, you know, the process of hatching the egg, you see the chick struggling inside the egg. And the beak shoots out and breaks a part of the egg. That the mother eagle or the mother bird must allow that eaglet or that chick do some work by itself. It is discovered that that process of struggling inside is what actually puts some kind of life and strength into that chick or eaglet. But the moment you don't want it to struggle, you want to help it. You now remove it. The bird will not fly. You've killed it from the beginning. How many people we have helped to their destruction when we should have allowed them evolve organically, allow them to grow their character, allow them to grow their administrative ability, but we wanted to help God and help them. And then we, we, we wreck their ability to grow Learn from Abraham and Sarah. 